What's up guys, this is Steve. How's everybody doing? Before we get started, make sure you guys like the video for me, give me a thumbs up, share the video and help somebody else. And if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and join that notification squad. Alright, let's get it popping y'all. So, I'm about to show you guys how to use Send Anywhere. Now, with Send Anywhere, you can transfer apps or files can transfer a lot of stuff but I use it mainly to transfer apps from one de device to another device any Android device so both devices must have send anywhere installed on it right now I have the Mi Box right here this is actually one of my friends Mi Boxes and he wanted me to put some apps on there so I thought I killed two birds with one stone by making a video for you guys and doing his box for him real quick so it's very simple um, you will need some type of mini keyboard or kitty keyboard hopefully you got that you guys know that's the most important thing I get as soon as I buy a device the first thing I buy is a keyboard well I got to but I make sure I get a keyboard with that device because it just make navigation a whole lot easier when you're using other apps if you don't have uh, any keyboard or mini keyboard and you have an Android TV device like the Mi Box and Nvidia Shield TV or the TiVo, you can use the Nvidia Shield TV app, I believe, that you can have a keyboard on your phone. I got to check that app out as well because I haven't tried it in a, in a very long time. So I believe you can use that as well. So let's get started, man. The first thing we need to do. Uh, also guys I'm gonna have all this stuff in description as well and comment if you guys get lost so the first thing we need to do is get downloader on this device so I already have sent anywhere on my Nvidia Shield TV was I'm using to uh, transfer the apps to this me box and I have the apps chose already that I want to use whoops sorry about that so now I need to get sent anywhere on this device so let's go to the Play Store we need downloader so we're gonna go to play store let's search downloader I'm using Logitech K400 plus in this video So I'm going to download downloader, download downloader, <laughs> open it up, going to allow it, OK. Now i got to type in the URL we need to get a browser. So we're going to type in browser, send anywhere works for any Android device, including your Fire Stick. Your Fire Sticks, your Amazon Fire TV devices are Amazon. I mean, they are Android devices as well. So, browser, period, AF TV, news, period, com. So, it's just like that. Now, I'm going to hit enter and go. I give the permission I missed that giving the permission just one time now you gotta give permission for every new app that sucks I hate it <laughs> but small stuff to a giant so we're gonna install this plugin done I don't need it anymore so I'm gonna delete it Alright, now we have the plugin. Let's go to browser. And I'm going to scroll the circle up there because I want to enter a new browser. And we're going to go to google.com.
All right. Now let's search. Send anywhere. APK. Pure. And I know what you guys going to say. You can just use file link and file link is a little bit easier at times. I use file link as well. I use uh, send anywhere. The easiest thing is just transferring from a flash drive. But I'm going to show you guys multiple ways. You know, it's never, you know, knowing the most you, you, you can is absolutely good. So we're going to search send anywhere APK pure. APK Pure right there. Press enter on it. Download APK. Scroll down to download APK. Close this ad. I put the APKs. I put the uh, actual URLs to the APKs in the description as well. So we're gonna install this. Send anywhere. Also for your Android TV devices, Nvidia Shield, Mi Box. Um, TiVo, I gotta mention TiVo as well. You're gonna need as well, since these are not lean back compatible apps, these are actually like regular Android apps send anywhere is, you're gonna need set orientation. So I'm gonna hit done on this. Delete it. And now let's go back. to google.com and get set orientation And this is to set the landscape of the app. So we're going to type in set orientation, APK pure. Search that. It didn't let me search it, so let's try it again. Set orientation. APK pure. That's what we want to search. Gotta go to the search button this time instead of pressing go. Oh, that's where I messed up at. I suppose to go over to the search button. All right, APK pure set orientation. Press enter on that. Scroll down to download APK. install now let's open up set orientation okay it's to disabled let's go click on this down well that triangle down and let's change it to landscape let's go down to okay all right we can delete this if you want to or keep it add it to a flash drive or something so we have everything we need press home we're gonna need side load launcher as well I believe actually send anywhere it's on here so you don't need side load launcher if you do just go to the play store and download side load launcher but it's popping up with a widget but I know it's not lean back compatible 
So let's press uh, let's add it. Let's hit enter on send anywhere. Gonna accept it. Confirm. Continue. Allow. Now, this is sent anywhere. And you can transfer your recent, your photos, your videos, audio, apps, contacts, files, all this stuff. So, on my NVIDIA Shield TV, I already went over to apps. And I chose what apps I wanted to transfer over to this Mi Box. So, since I'm transferring apps from my NVIDIA Shield TV, we're receiving it. So, you see down below, you hit send and receive. We're going to click on receive. I'm going to click on input key. And I'm going to have the Shield send me the apps. So, give me one second so I can press enter. And sometimes it makes you watch an ad. So maybe watch a quick ad. And now I gotta enter this code. The code would pop up on the device you're sending it, the apps from. So this is the code. I'm going to press uh, receive now. So it was 13 apps. And boom, that's it. So it's showing all the apps. On NVIDIA Shield TV, it usually lets you just click on here and install it. But you can't do it on here. So what you'll have to do is go get you a file manager from the Play Store or wherever you at. I love I still use ES File Explorer. But I don't they don't have it in the Play Store here. So I'm gonna go to apps and Google Play Store what file manager we can use. We can use FX. So I got FX File Explorer. Install it. And that's it guys. That's pretty much it. Now I'm going to go find it to send anywhere. File and all the apps will be there. Let's open it up. All right. So we can go to uh, main storage. Send anywhere. And boom. Whatever apps I want to use. So I'm immediately I'm going to install ES File Explorer. Just because it's just that simple for me. To use ES File Explorer. Because I don't think this has bulk. Let me see. Let's see if I can install more than one. Oh, I can. Hmm, I don't see it. So, I'm going to use ES File Explorer. If you don't want to use ES File Explorer, just click on each of these and then and install them. Boom. 
Play Store doesn't have ES File Explorer anymore because I guess it got caught doing something. It wasn't supposed to and removed from the Play Store. It's still on the Amazon Store too, though. So that's it guys. That's pretty much it. Turn off this recycle bin. Internal storage. Send anywhere. Select all. Unselect that. More. In install. And that's it guys. Oh, gotta get permission. I hate this new thing, man. So let me know what you guys think. Let me cancel this stuff. Well we don't have to cancel. I'll just press home. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have been using Sin Anywhere already. I did a couple videos before in the past. But sometimes you just got to do that reminder video. That it's more things than just file link. There's a lot of ways to transfer apps to your new device. A lot of different ways. And like I said, my favorite way. Well, I use Sin Anywhere a lot. I still use file link sometimes. If I don't have another device close to me. Um... But the easiest way is probably a flash drive. Popping a flash drive in your device and just having your apps already stored on that flash drive and loaded them on. So let me know which method you use. If there's any other methods you would like to know about, just comment and share. If you're using Send Anywhere, comment and share your experience with it. If you like it, you know, let, let us know what you like about it. If you don't like it, let us know what you don't like. But, uh, Whatever you want to say, just say it, man. This is our channel. So, your opinion, it means a lot over here. Your opinion can help somebody decide whether they want to use this app or not. You know, it's just more than my voice. So, let me know what you guys think. Before I get out of here, make sure you guys like the video. It's free. Give me a thumbs up. Share the video. Help somebody else. And if you're new to this channel, make sure you guys subscribe and tune in next time so I can show you how to make the box yours. Thanks for watching, guys.